Hello everyone, and welcome to this Blender tutorial about hotkeys and shortcuts. When you open Blender, you will see something like this. Lots of menus and icons. Let's see how to clear everything except the 3D viewport. First, let's hide the gizmos. To hide the gizmos, go to the top left corner and uncheck the gizmo icon. To hide text info, go to the show overlays icon and uncheck the text info checkbox. To toggle full screen area mode in Blender, press Ctrl, Alt, and Spacebar. To get back to normal mode, press Ctrl, Alt, and Spacebar again. To toggle maximize area, press Ctrl, Spacebar. In this mode, some useful menus are visible. To hide the left side menu, press T. To unhide it, press T again. To toggle back to normal mode, press Ctrl spacebar again. In this tutorial, we will work in full screen area mode to better understand how hotkeys work. To toggle full screen area again, press, as before, Ctrl, Alt, and spacebar. Let's clear our 3D viewport of objects in the scene. To select all objects in the scene, the shortcut key is A. After all objects are selected, let's delete them. To delete objects in Blender, the shortcut key is X, then press Delete. Another method is to press the Delete key directly. So, we are left only with this thing over there. That thing is called the 3D cursor. The 3D cursor has many uses. I will show a few of them in this tutorial. To select and manipulate the 3D cursor, the shortcut key is Shift Spacebar. From the menu, select 3D cursors. Now, when we left-click somewhere in the scene, the 3D cursor follows. To return the 3D cursor to the starting position, the shortcut key is Shift-S. To return the cursor to the world origin, select the Cursor to World Origin option in the menu. To complete this function of returning the 3D cursor to world origin, the hotkey combination is Shift-S, then 1. Let's add some elements to the scene. To add new elements to the scene, the shortcut key is Shift A. From this menu, we can add anything to the scene, but let's go to the mesh and add a cube. After we added the element, let's see how to navigate the 3D viewport. To rotate the viewport around the world origin, press and hold the middle mouse button. If you wonder what the world origin is, the world origin is the spot in the center where all three axes connect. To zoom the viewport, press Ctrl and hold the middle mouse button. To pan the viewport, press Shift and hold the middle mouse button. To select our object, we need to have the Box Select tool. To find the Box Select tool, press Shift Spacebar and from the menu select Box Select. Now we can select our cube. And while we are here, let's return the 3D cursor to its origin. To return the 3D cursor to the world origin, the shortcut is what we learned a minute ago. Let's add another object to the scene. To add a new object, the shortcut key is Shift A. Go to Mesh and add a sphere. To move objects in the scene, the shortcut key is G. Select the object you want to move and press G. To cancel the action in Blender, the shortcut key is Escape. To apply an action in Blender, the shortcut key is Enter. To lock movement on specific axes, press G and the axis name X, Y, or Z. To rotate objects in Blender, the shortcut key is R. Select the object and press R. To rotate an object on a specific axis, press R, then the name of the axis, X, Y, or Z. To toggle trackball mode, press R twice. To toggle precise rotation, the shortcut key is Shift-R. To rotate an object by increments, press R-Control. This way, the object will rotate at increments of 5 degrees. Let's say we want to navigate around objects that are away from the center, in this case, our sphere. When we select the sphere, navigation is still locked on the center. There are several ways to change that. To change the center of rotation of the distant object, select the object, press the middle mouse button, 
and Alt. Now we can navigate around the Bausch sphere. The second method is to select the object and press dot on the numpad. This function will frame the object. The third method is to select the object and press numpad backslash. This option will frame the object but hide all other objects. To return to the original state, press backslash again. If you press the home button while in object frame mode, the viewport will find the orbit in between the objects. Practice these methods. They are very useful. Let's say we want to return our sphere to the world origin. First, let's return our 3D cursors to the world origin. To return the cursor to world origin, press Shift, S, then 1. Select our sphere and press Shift, S, then Selection to Cursor. Those are the basic shortcut keys for the 3D viewport. If you like this type of tutorial, please leave a like and comment. In the next series, we will cover object and edit mode shortcuts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.